guys, I am here with Yolanda, who is one of the manifesting money manifesting magic <laughs> class participants from January, I believe. Mm -hmm. And she's had some major wins. And I'm just really excited to have her share her experience with MMM with you guys. Mm -hmm. So hi, Yolanda. Thank you for doing this. Of and course. Tell me what brought you to MMM in the first place. So I, from talking, you know, I did a few readings with you before I did the, the manifesting course. And um, I realized I had some major blockages, blocks. And um, when I first did the, when I first did um, MMM, it was for my first conference. And I was feeling really like heavy and really like, man, I'm not gonna meet my goals. And I knew I needed to change that. In order to meet my goals, I had to figure out like how to change my mindset. So I joined and the rest is history. Yay. So what about the program when you were in it, you knew it was something that was gonna help you with the mm -hmm. blockages. When you were in it, what were your thoughts about the experience itself? Yeah, so it felt like a really safe space because what we're gonna be doing, what you're doing is you're going really, yeah, you're going deep. You're going inside yourself, okay? <laughs> And so you have to feel safe to do that. Um, and, then, and then, you know, what I love is that you gave permission to not be parts of, you know, I didn't want to do the whole uh, part about like altars and stuff. And so you were like, don't like this your shit, like you don't got to do it. And so I was able to just like parts of it that worked for me, um, really worked for me. And the parts that I didn't want any parts of, I was just like, well, I'm gonna just, you know, mute this part or, or ignore it. And I love that. I love that you made a safe space for it to be mine. But also, that's when I really got in touch, honestly, with the idea that I have like ancestors watching out for me. And that was the very first time where I felt like I had my ancestors and God like holding me and really, and you did an inner child thing too. So it was like, it was like little eight year old me, ancestors, I'm hugging on uh, the Lord. And I'm just like feeling all this like, this, this positive energy. And it really just propelled me to um, be able to then dig deeper and be like, okay, so what are these blocks? Work through them, visualize them, bust through them, and then meet my goals. Yay. So mm -hmm. now, okay, we got to tell everyone the major wins that you had yeah. after this class. Yeah. The first class, like I said, was for my very first conference. It was called Ron and Racism Ragdoll 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 Parenting, and it was in January. And when I I was nowhere near my goal, right? I thought my goal was like ten grand. And um, after I did the after I did the course, it was like two weeks before the conference um, started, and I made about fifteen grand in two weeks. And then. Um, my latest conference just passed. It was June 18th through 20th. And um, I fully, you know, my goal was um, good, better, best was, you know, 25, 50, um, 75. And I want to say around, there was, I did another reading with Danny. She was like, get your shit together and go back and listen to the course again. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. So I did. And um, I was able to just kind of like push past that, those, those fears because they're never going to fully go away. You got to continue to work on them, right? So that's the point of having the recording from the course. You can always, whenever you feel the need, feel yourself going back to the old shit that kept you stuck. You can go back and you can listen to the um, recording and get centered and get your mind right. And I did. And I want to say I was at um, 25 grand. I hit that. And then all of a sudden, I want to say it, it took about three weeks, but I made $76,000 in total over a six week period of when my, you know, the tickets were, were being sold. And um, of course I, I let Danny know because I'm just like, bitch, <laughs> money manifesting over here, you know? And um, I was so excited and I, you know, I still even to this day um, am sitting here like I just made a bunch of money in a really short amount of time. Now, obviously with manifesting, there still comes work. Like you can't be over here just like, I'm gonna manifest it, mm, where is it? Like I had to like, part of this, part of my mindset was like, 
okay, you still have to like put the work in. So I, I, I listened to the recording and then I was like, then bitch get to work, like start marketing, start being vulnerable, start doing the things that you know, bring people to you. And once I started getting out of my head and really just started putting the work in, the money just came, you know, and, and, and it kept coming. Um, even through the conference, I was, I, you know, there was days where the, the conference was starting and I made like five grand that day. I made 10 grand the next day. And I was just like, these people just throw my money at me at this point. <laughs> so it really helped in general, just to change my outlook on money. So it didn't hold value for like me. Like it didn't, I wasn't, I didn't feel like my value is in money anymore. Money is um, a transactional item that comes and goes very, comes a lot. Come on in money. <laughs> It comes to me easily and frequently. And that's what I just, I'm just expecting it at this point because I don't see it anymore as this thing that if I don't get it, I'm no longer, I'm not valuable. I'm not a good person. I'm not a good businesswoman. Um, I just see it now as just kind of like, this is, these are, this is something I need to pay for stuff. And then, you know, I've made it very simple for me. I love that. Thank you so much for sharing your experience. And I just have one last question for you. Can I hold $50? I mean, you've got all that bank over there, sis. We about to <laughs> we about to do some some of that bank is about to be some work with you because I am ready I, when you are. I still got some stuff. Okay. I'm ready when I'm you I'm trying are. to bust through, I'm trying to hit 150 this year in revenue. Yes. And so I'm halfway there. Um actually I'm more than halfway there because if I count the first conference, I've hit a hundred. So and I never even thought about that. And that's another thing. Once you really start to like pay attention to your money, you 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 start to see things you never really noticed before. Because I sat there and was like, wait a minute, I made six figures this year already. I mean, I don't got six figures in my account, but I made six figures like revenue. It's flowing into your experience. Right? Exactly. Exactly. So yeah. it was it was really um, it was really transformative, and I thank you for it. I thank you for this. This I feel so tingly just hearing your story. I just <laughs> thank you so you much. You too can manifest. Yes. Manifesting course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> thank you.